with the letters hopefully you shouldn't get any violations with that because you're using emojis you see uh oh good lins and then we've got the miss j emoji yes because obviously she's the bestie and we've never added a j emoji and it's about time thank you paula do you know what i mean naughty miss reds morning jackie darling uh, so, guys, I am going to try and do the... Oh, thank you, uh, bye, darling. Six-month subscription, thank you. I am going to try and do the uh, waffle today. I'm going to get my assignment to take a screenshot. Uh, and then, you know how we do it, right? For So, we'll just talk about it. We're going up to 100k likes, guys, and we'll get on with the FYP. So, for those that... Uh, our subscribers, I love you right back, darling. You get uh, on the 15th of every month, we uh, thank you, Pauline, darling. We select somebody who out of the subs, and the winner gets sent £50 cash. All right, whether it's through your bank, PayPal, however you want it sent, we'll send it over to you. Okay, thank you, Jade and Marie, darling. So, guys, I'll give you two quarter pass to get your subs in, and I do send the money over. Anyone that's been sent it can verify that they have got their money. Um, yes, Miss Red, don't mess around. It's weird when I speak about myself as a sack person. I don't mess around with the subs. No, my hair is, it's all pinned up. So basically, I'm going away at half 11. We're going to Bridlington to watch UB40 tonight, uh, Ali Campbell. Uh, and I wanted to curl my hair, but I can't find my, my curlers. So one of the girls has took my curlers. Uh, so yeah, it's all frizzy because I've done nothing with it. Do you know what I mean? So I've just pinned it back and it looks like a little bob done it. So yeah. So that they, they've done something with my curlers. I don't know what they've done. Uh, so guys, I will be off at half eleven today. Thank you, everybody. Oh, big love, my Lins, darling. Thank you, Lins. Uh, oh, did you get your treasure chest, guys? For those that got something from the treasure chest, can you just uh, thank Jesse in the comments? So if there is anybody in Briglinton. Uh, I will be in the area today. I'll be there for about one o'clock. And yeah, I'm going to uh, have a few drinks again. I, um, I've not got a hangover today. It's gone. And uh, morning, Miss T, darling. And if you see me, you know what I mean? Come and say hello to me. If you're at the UB40 concert, we'll have a dance together. Yes. Hopefully I'll get to meet Ali Campbell today. Mm. Yeah. I've been trying for years. I live in hope every concert, do you know what I mean? The mango cider, guys, for those that have joined and weren't here yesterday, there's this new cider out, it's mango cider, and it tastes like uh, iron brew or something like that. Morning, no face, uh, and it's dangerous. I got absolutely wrecked on it uh, Saturday night, uh, and I was so poorly yesterday, you know, so poorly. Um... I weren't poorly, I just had hangover, but yeah, I feel so much better today. Hi Dave, darling, thank you, Stormy Rain. But I'm going to drink today, I'm having some vodkas and coke. Um, and happy Monday, everybody, I hope everybody's okay. Simon, darling. Simon's out, he's popped somewhere, he's running around. I've just sent him into town to get a little suitcase, because uh, our little suit, you know the little suitcases that you, you know, you can take them on a plane. Yeah, the, you know the little suitcases because it broke my car. Oh, Lynn's darling, thank you. That that is uh, that's a new one, that isn't it? Thank you, Dippy Egg and Jackie. Big love, Lynn's. Thank you, darling. You always spoil me. Yes, you do. Uh, and all of you guys too, you all spoil me. So, guys, please get your subscriptions in because as it stands, I think we're on about five hundred subscriptions, and also as well. Jackie! Oh my God, darling, thank you so much. I'm getting all the love today. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, absolutely, French tomatoes. Oh, big up, ladies. Thank you, Jackie. Wow. Thank you. I love that. Uh, I love that gift. Yeah. Reminds me of London. Oh, Dead Wings. Hello, darling. Where are you taking me? That looks like a chateau. Chateau in France somewhere. Thank you, Millie Molly and everybody else. Uh, when's the big thing? Well, the thing is, right, so 
Yeah, big up London. Oh, darling. So, like, I never arranged to actually get her on. I just said she inboxed me and she wanted to come on, uh, but she said she never had an account. So I never actually arranged anything with her. Hi, darling. Hi, Trisha. So, like, it wasn't arranged. You know what I mean? I just got a random message and I just said, well, she's messaged me. You know, she might want to come on. Um, so, yeah, so it wasn't, like, an arranged thing or, you know, she wasn't given a time slot. Thank you, Jackie, darling. Thank you, Nat Nat. Thank you, Charlotte. So, guys, I know that this top is a bit bold today, uh, but it's kind of like, it's do it's a dog tooth pattern, which is like, you know, one of my favourite patterns, believe it or not, but it's a bit like psychedelic for the eyes, you know what I mean? Uh, thank you, Abby Rose. Thank you for the subscription. So, what are the perks of subscriptions, one might ask, okay? So, it's two sixty nine a month. You get to use, I love you too, Dead Wings. You get to use the emojis in the chat, and we've got these red letters now. So we can have lots of fun with them. Uh, you get to be put into a draw on the 15th of every month and you can win £50. So the thing is, the higher the subs, the higher the, the money that I'm giving away. You know, uh, I think uh, not... I think not last month, the month before, you know, we give away £100. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and then as well, if you quest, request the box, you get priority over boxes, as long as it's not kicking off in the box because we have to protect you all, you see. I don't want my peoples in the boxes, you know what I mean, when it's booted off, yes. Um, but what I'm going to do, guys, I know we're at 100k. Let's get up to 150. I'm being cheeky. I'm just going to have a couple of uh, hits of this Mayfair Blue because I've been rushing around this morning. Um, trying to find my curlers and I know one of the girls have uh, took them because I leave them on my dressing table so but they're both at work so they're not answering my calls you know what I mean fucking give me my curlers back you bitches um yes we love the new emojis thank you big up Alex Brigham as well for sending them to me because I didn't have a fucking clue how to do it do you know what I mean and we wouldn't have them if it weren't for him he sent them straight over yes he did um ah oh, thank you everybody thank you MK it's because I'm, I'm going out like literally straight after the live jumping in the car uh, why are we bunning joey what's our joey done about bun joey oh mm. so at quarter past we'll get on with the fyp guys and then we'll do the uh the waffle oh bethany darling thank you for the subscriptions five subscriptions that's very kind of you darling yes i haven't cut my hair ginger gemini it's just up in a pony look in like a little bun thing uh so, yeah, it's not gone. I can't do that. Imagine cutting all your hair off. I'd do it for charity. Do you know what I mean? It'd have to be like, uh, do you know what I mean? I'd probably do it for charity, but not just for the fun of it. Uh, yes. <laughs> Did you think it was good? No. It's probably four, four years to grow my hair. Yes. Um, right, guys. So, let me get Simon's phone. One minute. Carry on tapping, everyone. Where's your phone? Oh. Okay. Right, how am I going to take this? Uh, how am I going to take do this of the subscribers, guys? Because Simon's phone's charging. Usually, you know, um, Josh will come in and take. Thank you, everybody, for the for the heart and the response. Thank you. Ah, uh, Josh comes in and takes a screenshot, doesn't he? Uh, right, is this iPad? Right, oh God, now you're asking. Ah, oh, look at you all spamming with the emojis. You're so cute. Right, has this got a camera on it? Right, where's the camera on this? Oh, oh, oh thank you, Simone. You back in a minute, when you? Yes, you can have your phone back, darling. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, yes, I know. I know. It's only for uh, just to take a picture and then you can have it straight back. Yes. You are. Simon, stop clout chasing anyway. Right, guys. I'm. Right, we'll do the subscription draw now and then we can get on with the rest of the show because. Um, it's going to be a short show today because I'm coming off dead at half eleven. I will be live later on from Brits. Uh, thank you for the subs, guys. I will be on later from Brits. I'll be, you know, live from the venue so you can listen to the UB40 thing. Do you know what I mean? Right, let me turn subscription comments on. 
Right, so these subscription comments only go on just until we've done this, just for the subscribers. All right, everybody. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you for your subscriptions. So, yeah, so guys, get spamming the right time in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get spamming the comments, guys. And then I'll take a picture. Um, oh, let me t turn this light off. Is that it? Okay. Right, let's go. Right, we'll count up to 10, guys. My eyes are closed. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, is that done? Done? Yes, we got it. <laughs> oh. Right, who was it? Uh, oh. Right, okay, okay. So, it's very blurry. Oh, that is a right jump scare picture. It's very blurry, but the centre was Nikki. It was Nikki Al underscore 7717. So, are you here, Nikki? Obviously, you're here because you just commented in the chat. Uh, Joey, we don't fix things around here, darling. It could be you next month. Right, Nikki, are you here? Nikki Al underscore 77. Uh, yeah, well done, Nikki, darling. Um, I just want to make sure that I'm following you, and then you can send me your details, and uh, we'll get we'll get it sent over to you. Oh, there you are, darling. It's you. You won. I do follow you, don't I? Yeah. So just send me how you want to be paid, and we'll get it done. Yes, well done. Let's free everybody. Free. Free you in the chat. There you go. Oh, I'm getting good at this now. Well done, Nikki, darling. And thank you for your support. Thank you, everybody, for your support. Thank you. Ooh. Alexa, play the BBC News theme. Here's BBC News theme by TV Theme Tune Factory on Aww. Amazon Music. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Miss Red Show on this Manic Monday. Yes, TikTok is absolutely, <laughs> well, it's just kicking off left, right and centre everywhere, isn't it? You know, everyone's got beef and everything, and then we've got the uh, Miss Pineapple explosion that's going on all around the place, you know what I mean? Guys, I'm going to have my opinions on some FYP videos. It's just an opinion. I am not God or a moral compass of any sort. Trigger warning, we must protect ourselves if we are affected. Alexa off. Thank you. If we are affected by anything that you hear in this live, because I don't want people, you know, making videos going, oh, that Miss Red, she doesn't put trigger warnings into place. Trigger warning, trigger warning, trigger warning. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. People that don't even like me, or, you know, they, they don't even follow me. They've got the biggest problems, you bitches. Oh, thank you, Dio. Thank you, Jen. And whoever sent that potato, thank you. Right, I'm just going to ask something now. So we've got 3.6k people. If you want to be a part of my team, just uh, send a heart me, guys. It will get me up the popular. And yes, we're all about it today. Thank you for the love, everybody. Right, where are we going to start? Let's have a look. Come on, then. Jay, you here, darling? I hope you feel better today. Jay's been poorly, guys. She thought she thought she had the COVID one, but uh, it was just the flu. Oh, stop requesting me. Piss off. If you are sending a gift and a heart, me thank you so much. Thank you. Right, why has that been covered? Oh, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start. Someone just said, I thought you left. TikTok. Uh, okay, so that, okay, so you're in here looking for attention. I haven't left TikTok, obviously, because I'm still here. I've been here for months. Uh, obviously, you don't watch me because you'd know that I've not left TikTok unless you're imagining me sitting here. Silly question. Right, so we're going to play a video. First video about Joey Tiki, yes, and Dead Wings. This is called A Beetlejuice Story. Yes. Thank you, everybody. Place. Buzz Lydia Dietz, 
when you need a sweetheart. Eel geese. Who the hell's this? Smoked in the in the case of a of a battle, sweetheart. I think you left your Mayfair blue in your mouth overnight. <laughs> Roots. <laughs> oh, what is that? Roots, Miss Red. <laughs> Are you okay, though, darling? <laughs> <laughs> I can't oh, Darling, Iki, you're looking a bit cold there, sweetheart. Oh, darling. Did you get locked in a fridge or something, or like a freezer? I hope you're okay, evil queen. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, I attended Juilliard. Uh, I'm a graduate of the Harvard Business School. I travel quite extensively. I live through the... Not the slime and alpha bar. Black Plague, and I had a pretty good time during that. I've seen The Exorcist about 167 times, and it keeps getting funnier every single time I see it. So, uh, what, what happened to you? you? <laughs> with the, um, you know, the slime. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, darling, that's tragic because you're painting your front door again. <laughs> the shade. <laughs> Need to tell me if you're not working? Can't think of you two floating down the canal somewhere face down. Oh, well done, Joey and Dead Wings, darling, guys. If you ain't already given uh, Joey, Tiki and Dead Wings a follow, please do so. They're the, make, the most amazing duo. We love that. It's brilliant, isn't it? It's so talented. And if there's any characters, guys, that you would like, NJ, if there's any characters that you would like to see in a video, just give Joey a message, you know what I mean? And I'm sure you'll get it done, you know? Yes! We'll have uh, all the Joey, Tiki and Dead Wings animations. Right, have I got anything else? Any, any more funny stuff? Ah. Oh. So, usually, right, I don't really, I know we, thank you, everybody, thank you, Emma. I know we have our drama in here, right, and I've had my dramas over the last two years of doing TikTok, but I'm not actively involved in any drama on TikTok, so I don't go live with people and join boxes and argue and anything like that. So, last week, I accepted Milan's request. And I, I, I happen to be in a box with this uh, Kaylee, the X Factor and Sobriety Jack. Um, thank you, Godfrey. And I was just shook if to the core with the behaviour. So I can categorically say now that that drama in the boxes and everything isn't for me personally. You, yeah, Miss Red from Wish. Oh, what's Jay got to say? <laughs> Let's just hear what Jay's got to say. Jay? Hi, darling. Um... I've, I've been asked <laughs> to ask you if it's okay if you do a quick wardrobe change, darling, just because we can't really see the comments. Really? Mm. Oh, well, I've, I've only got an hour. Is it that bad? Well, yeah. <laughs> right, one minute. Okay. I feel much better, actually, Buffy. Right, let's... 
It's not them, but it's like a black magic wand. The girls have stolen them. So I'll have, I'll have no curly hair now. Oh. Right, is that better? Um, yeah. All right, bye. <laughs> right, there you go, guys. I'll put my denim jacket on. There you go. Because I'm not running upstairs, you know what I mean? I've got stuff to do. So anyway, I apologise about the top. We will not wear that on live again. I'll just stick to neutral colours. Uh, better. I'm so sorry, everybody. Uh, yes, thank you, Jay. So, guys, um, what was I saying? So, anyway, I got caught up uh, with, with the drama in TikTok, and I was just shook to the core uh, about the, you know, the drama bit. So it's definitely not for me. Uh, so uh, if you weren't watching, this is it. Baby daddy, mate. She's not asking the baby dad, the baby dad's ringing. So, it's not the baby daddy, motherfucker. It's universal credit. <laughs> <laughs> You're misread from which darling? That's what that girl. So I just I just wanted to show that because obviously it made it all over the FYP and I haven't cut my hair guys. I'm gonna take my bubble out so people stop asking. <laughs> Thank you, Mimi Lou. Thank you. So yeah, the boxes and the drama's not for me basically. I'm quite happy sat here in my little room and uh we'll do our singing and we'll stay out of the drama. Because I was like I was like a rabbit caught in headlights, guys. I just wasn't for it. So no, I just wanted to show that. And and like I know that the the Miss Pineapple stuff has made the FYP and stuff like that. So this Miss Pineapple was uh, accused a couple of months ago of uh, stealing from a charity. Thank you, French, and thank you everybody else. Uh, stealing from a children's charity, five thousand pounds, and she proclaimed it wasn't her. But anyone with half a brain cell could you know connect the dots dots together and you know you, you knew that it was her basically you know this was i don't know how many years ago this happened but anyway she's been exposed uh, uh i think this chippy guy played a video on it of her on telly and stuff like that but because there's kids in the video i'm not i'm not playing the video but i always knew it was uh i don't really get involved because like for me she's not a main character in a sense of not many people know who she is. Do you know what I mean? No problem, Gemini Lash. So, Lash. So, uh, like to me, it's irrelevant, like drama. She was out it. Uh, like I say, anyone with half a brain cell knew that it was her. Uh, yeah, but I'm not, you know, I'm not invested in it because she isn't a main character on TikTok. Do you know what I mean, guys? However, so yeah, the Miss Pineapple, uh, there is a video out there to prove that it actually was her on the TV. And, you know, it's her face, her voice, same name. Uh, I think Pearls and Modded are now. Mm. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, darling. Yeah, so those that have asked me are going to be speaking about it. No, I don't care enough about this Miss Pineapple. Um, she's not a main character and... Yeah, so if that's all right, I don't really want to speak about it. Uh, it was her sister, not her. It wasn't a sister, darling. Like, respectfully, you, if you're intelligent enough, you can kind of, like, put it together and you'll know that it was, you know, it was her. But it was years ago, and do people deserve second chances? I don't know. It's up to... What do you mean by main character? So main character is, like, main character, so... Um, people that you would know on TikTok, like the Alf Bars, DGs, Dave Durans, like this Miss Pineapple isn't a main character. She's just a box top, uh, a box hopper. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you want to, do you get what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, we'll see how that progresses, but I won't be covering it. Don't care enough. I'd rather talk about Alf Bar. Yes. And, uh, Luna. So, thank you, Laura. Thank you, everybody. Should we do a quick poll? Who agrees that, you know, she's not main character enough or interesting enough to talk about on the Miss Red show? We'll do a quick poll. Happy face, yes, you agree with me. Sad face, no. Uh, you want to talk about it, but just not today. 
yeah, I do what you guys want, but I know that I'm right. Thank you, Norma. Uh, and I'm not being spiteful when I say this. It's like we've got four and a half thousand people and probably only 2,000 of you know who, who she is. Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, so I'm going with that. We're going with that poll. Yes, we love it. But the thing is, if you come on TikTok and you tell lies like that, or, you know, people will investigate and people will find out. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Nothing can be hidden uh, from anybody on TikTok because people will dig a dig a dig a dig a dig until, um, you know, we find the truth. Oh, guys. So... I'm really upset about this, you know what I mean? Because I love Luna, uh, Antoinette, uh, Luna Tuna, whatever her name is. Uh, but personally, myself, uh, I'm very sad about this, do you know what I mean? Um, she's left TikTok, guys. Thank you, Lynn's darling. And I'm going to do everything I can to, to, to get Luna back. Oh, thank you, Linz, darling. Big up my Linz. Guys, can we MVP Linz? Yes, I'm going to ring her, try and get in touch with her and uh, try and bring her back to TikTok because we just need her for the FYP. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, we'll play, um, we'll play Luna now. Oh, it's Sunday night. It's the... 15th of September and the trolls of what? I can't take it anymore. The hate, the harassment, the not stop. I can't take it anymore. So I mean, you know me, guys. I'm going to keep it real, even though I do like how she was squeezing them eyes hard. For a tear, do you know what I mean? It's like Tilly when she asked for that second uh, tip top and the third, I'm like, uh, Till, no, laddie. And like, you know, what I mean? she's squeezing out the tears and like nothing's coming out. Like she was squeezing hard, do you know. What I mean? um, anyway, let's carry on. This is goodbye. <laughs> Guys, I'm not having this. At the end of the day, right, I know people have the problems with her and everything, but I'm going to message her and I'm going to say, don't you let the haters win, darling. Like, you know, you have got to toughen up a little bit. You've got to have thick skin for this social media thing, right? People are going to have uh, their opinions in the videos, but it's not all trolling. It's just people with opinions. You know, as long as you've got a good community and you've got, uh, you know, some friends behind you, don't worry about what anybody says about it because I need Luna back on this app. I do. I need her back because, like I say, I know, you know, people, some some people aren't keen on that, but I think she's all right and I miss the, the Zach and the, and the Luna beef. Do you know what I mean? At the minute, they're my favourite duo and we need it back. So I'm going to, I'm messaging her and say, tough or not, darling, uh, you wipe them tears away and you get back on TikTok. Yes. Yes. I hope you're happy with the result. Oh, goodbye, TikTok. 
I mean, come on, guys. I'm... Shut up, you alpha bar, you clout chaser. So how many times have I done that, guys? I've come on and I'm like, I'm going, it's the end. Thank you for the wristbands, guys. I'm going, it's the end. I'm never going to be back again. And a week later, you know, I'm back and loving life. Do you know what I mean? And I think she'll be back in a couple of days. Like the Alpha Bar one, you know, she said uh, a couple of days ago, actually, uh, when she got exposed in some video. Uh, she's having time off a week off or something. She was back six hours later. Yeah, look at CLA. CLA does it 50 times a day if you're not sending the gifts. Uh, mm, yeah, who feels sorry for Luna, guys? Who feels, I do, I feel a little bit sorry for her. Uh, it was the longest farewell, it was, but I do feel sorry for her. <coughs> it's the empath in me. I can't help it. Do you know what I mean? Uh, sorry, I'm just getting uh, spam requested. You don't feel sorry for her. She's human, guys, and she's got feelings. Do you know what I mean? Um, right, where are we going next? Uh... Uh, so, Alpha Bar has found their new calling. You're all ruthless, you know. Ruthless you are, all of you people that said no. Um, I'm not doing a poll, guys, because it's not very kind. Uh, thank you, Worth Angel. So, Alpha Bar is back and they have a new talent. Uh, never mind Mystic Mac, Psychic Sally Morgan. We, we now have Septic. Uh, Smack, yes, Septic Smack um, is bringing the, your fortunes to you. Um, yes, guiding you with their angel cards and their spirit guides. Uh, yes, so who would have thought the Alpha Bar one? Um, a card reader? Mm. Here we go. Tell me what Aptia needs to do, please. Okay. Lots fell out, so that's a good sign. Right, so three have already fallen out for you, which is actually a very good sign. No, four have. Okay, right, four have already fallen out for you that quick, which is actually surprising me because that usually doesn't happen. That we move. Right, <clears throat> Tia, are you ready? So, Tia, let me look at you. Tia, are you here still? Because I need to. I feel like it's. I'm getting a relationship in my head. See, am I right? I don't know. Is it something to do with your relationship? Are you in one? I just feel like you are. I'm not sure. I'm just feeling it. I don't know if you are. Are you actually fucking out here? <laughs> That's mad! Okay, okay, right. I mean... Can I be honest, right? Yes. The thing is with these psychics, right, because, oh shit, I nearly fell off the stool. I used to have a, a boyfriend that did tarot cards, you know, like, uh, you know, on the phone, did tarot readings on the phone. And he was pretty good, but I'm going to be honest, he, you know, he was a kind of artist, you know what I mean? Yes, he, he didn't have spirit guides and everything. This was like back in the day, guys, you know what I mean? Don't come for me. I never did it. Um, and the, the main things that people want to talk about are relationships, um, career. What's the other one? Relationships, career. And I can't remember the other one. So Tam is a real one. Tam, I'm telling you now I had a reading off Tam and she was bang on the money. I'm telling you now. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I could say to you, how many of you uh, are having um, a relationship problem? Uh, how many of you, you know, are looking for a better income? It's just like we, we can all relate in some way to the, the three major things. Do you know what I mean? But what Tam never used the three major things. Tam was, I, I had it on live, remember? She was bang on the money. Yeah, it's a cold reading. But um, anyway, let's carry on with Alf Bar. She's uh, full of shit, basically. Pick up the card, right? So we need. <laughs> oh, Tom's here. <laughs> Can I PM you about this? I'm gonna PM you, babe. Right, next card. I want, I want a next card. 
Thank you, Danny. Yeah, just listen. Tia, are you struggling with something? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say it on my phone, but are you struggling with something? Thank you, everybody. It's okay if I'm wrong. Guys, I'm not playing any more of the Ace Boring, so yeah, how far's um, channeled? What's going on? Give overs. Ah, um, how far's channeling her in a uh, tarot reader? It's her latest, uh, you know, <laughs> scam thing. But uh, yeah, but thank you, Danny. Thank you, darling. But I just want to say, like, oh, thank you, Danny. Tarot readers, they have to have, like, angel guides and everything like that. So is she... Uh, has she developed an angel guide? Is it a gift that has just, you know, sporadically appeared? Uh, I, I just don't understand where this has come. Uh, come from Alpha Bar? Anyway, let's get Tam in the box because Tam is a tarot reader. But Tam, to read tarots, tarot cards, don't you have to have like spirit guides and angels? It doesn't just pop into your head, does it? Someone's got to tell you. Explain how this works, Tam, because I don't get it. I, I don't. And it's dangerous. Explain. And it's dangerous. Hello. I can't stay on long because I'm, I'm on my way somewhere. But, um, yeah, you're right in what you're saying about the cold calling. And this is what I say to my clients. Like, when I'm... When I'm connecting to their loved one, and it doesn't always happen, like I always, I don't, I never guarantee that because you just can't guarantee it. Um, like I, I won't use things like, oh, somebody, somebody you love has passed away from the big C. Like those things is, is what Miss Red said. I call cold calling. Like I will ask them to give me something that some that someone would recognise, i.e., something that's not a uh, generic, like and like jewellery, like those things like you uh, I, I, I don't i want to say so much about alphabet right now but i just can't do it I, I would just be very careful like i've had to have a lot of like training and mentoring um to be able to develop it and um it doesn't just come to you overnight like <laughs> i don't know why she's in a quarter this. of a mile One. turn left on Pam, do you know, do you know your, obviously I know what you do and like I can like vouch for you that when I can like, vouch for you that when you never knew any of this, when you said this, you said you no. have a spirit guide or angel guide. Yeah, of course we have spirit guides, yeah. Echo, I know. Tam, you're echoing, darling. Echo, Is I there know. a bad echo? Tam, you're echoing, darling. Oh, you it's know. because you're coming through the car, that's why. Is it any better? Mm. I just won't speak. You carry on. Let me take you out the car. Hang on. I just won't speak. You don't take it out. I'm recognised. I've took you off the car. Is that better? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah you do have spirit guides and again that's not easy to do everybody has the potential to be a psychic everybody does we, we are natural naturally spirited people but it it takes some training to be able to just connect some people are natural at it some people aren't um i don't really know in depth you'd have to go to a spiritualist church really to get the in-depth scientific whatever explanation but if you're somebody that like thinks of someone and then they're calling your phone those sorts of things are psychic abilities but people just don't know how to develop them um and like i said with, with you red I, think, I can't even remember what it was but it was it was a friend of yours wasn't it that kept coming forward yeah for you? someone that I, I'd never spoken about because again he's just come to me now like i'm here like hi like <laughs> but um yeah. i think that's what it was with you if you can if you are doing a reading and you're getting actual details from the, the Turn reader, left onto Overy Liberty, A226. Absolutely, you are probably with a good reader, but if you're getting somebody that can guess what jewellery you was given by your late nan's dead auntie... In a quarter you know I mean? of a mile, you will arrive get, at your destination. You're never going to get, like, 100% out of tarot cards anyway. And a, a good reader will tell you that your, your readings will change at any time. Like, we can't always guarantee things. A good reader won't do medical stuff as well. Like, you shouldn't be asking readers 
you know, uh, am I going to get bad doctor's results? You shouldn't be doing that sort of stuff. So, um, so in a way, like you, you, you kind of saying Alpha Bar could really be doing this because that you know everybody's got the ability to do this. Everybody. So, ha so this is what my mentor says. Everybody has the potential to be able to read. So Alpha Bar has gone from being psycho to psychic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really too sure about Alpha Bar, to be fair with you. The other thing is that I find as well, the more empathetic, empathetic, oh, empathetic you are, the more likely you are to be able to read as well. So, you know, I can't really see someone as selfish as Alpha Bar being able to read. But oh. that's just me. Not without any proper training anyway. Okay. Thank you, Tam, for joining us. No, thanks. I was, I'm just going to go back to listening. I'm just... um. Just going somewhere, but yeah, I'll be listening. Okay, thank you, darling. All right, see you soon. Bye. There you go, guys. We heard it from uh, Tam herself, and Tam is an amazing tarot reader. Honest to God, I never LA, I promise you, I've had like so many readings over the years, and like I've seen a few spiritualists, and they've never got anything right, and I don't give anything away. Do you know what I mean? But when Tam did my reading, I never give it. Top girl, I'm not lying, I swear to God, there was 2,000 people watching it. She knew about the. Uh, the friend, she knew about my daughter, and it's stuff that I hadn't diverged, divulged with her. Do you know what I mean? It's because, like, I don't really talk about my private life a lot, but she, there's no way she could have knew this stuff. See, you was there, Olivia, weren't you? Uh, who was there when Tam did my reading, guys? And I was literally blown away because she pulled out a card, right? And on the front of this card was a picture. It was a woman and she had like her head down in her knees. And as soon as that card came out, I've got goosebumps thinking about it now. That was what my daughter was going through at the time. Do you know what I mean? There's no way she could have known because I never spoke. Even Jo, I never spoke to Jo about any of this. It's true. It really is true. Some people can do it, but Al Alpha, you know, she's just picked Cinnamon's cards on the side. I thought, oh, I'll have a go at this. And, uh, you know, and a few people in the comments have related, but it, it also can be very dangerous when you're not, um, you're not really connected. Yeah, we'll do another one, Tam. We're not really connected. Um, that, oh, we've got Angel Goddess. Angel Goddess is another one that does cards. See, even speaking about it now, Angel, i got goosebumps because I remember that card coming out and it just like cold shivers ran through my body and it's doing it again um but alpha needs to be careful because it's dangerous mm. uh, another scam basically who believes in it guys happy face you believe in it sad face you don't i really do believe that some people have an ability Yeah, so some people do. But Angel Goddess gave me a reading as well. She was good. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for the love. But uh, honest to God, Tam, if you want a tarot reading, uh, take away whatever you think about people. That woman is talented. Thank you, Kirsty, and what, uh, uh, what she does. Talented. Really, really good. Uh, it couldn't have been guesswork though. Hi, Lipsy, darling. Someone just said it was. It couldn't have been. It was too specific and too on the money to be anything other than real. Yeah. Hi, Kieran, darling. Thank you, Joe Blocks. Say so, yes, Alpha Bar. So, guys, we're going to be talking about what we're going to be talking about next. I ain't really got these in order. Oh, yeah, th this guy, so this guy, right, um, Harley, they're taking Alpha Bar to court. Um, well, this Harley says that they're taking Alpha Bar to court, but Alpha Bar is denying that this is, you know, this this is happening. But I don't know, I don't know what I feel about this, because uh, I, I don't like to say I don't believe somebody. Do you know what I mean? It's just that so many people have said so much about Alpha Bar and it hasn't actually happened. But I don't know, I tend to... <laughs> I tend to believe what he's saying, this Harley, uh, because he's not, yeah, I don't know why, I don't know why, thank you. I'm just going to play it anyway. Alpha can play all the cards he wants, all the cards in the book. She 
can say that she never got the letters. The letter, um, the letter has gotten to Alphabet because something else has happened, which I can't comment on. Do you not believe it, Holly? So, the court date is the Thursday, the 21st of November, 2024, at 2.15pm. So that's when court will be happening. So right, okay. So some of you's not buying it. I don't know, because this, this guy has said that Alpha Bar was inappropriate with them and didn't... Red, maybe I can do a live where I can do free reading. Yeah, that would be amazing, Tam. We'll do it when I get back. Uh, we'll do it when I get back. Uh, yeah, I don't know. There's just something about him that I'm believing because he's obviously given court date and everything. And they show up in court, don't they? Do you know, like these court dates, do you know how people track the Deidre one down? Yeah, I, 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 I believe him. I believe he's got some kind of court case going on. I'm not on tomorrow, guys, because I'm going away today, but I'll be back Wednesday uh, morning. So, uh, but I will be going live tonight from the venue where I am and showing you around Bridgeton. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. I believe this guy. We'll just wait and see. Um, mm hmm. All the drama around Alpha Bar at the minute. There was that exposure as well on Alpha Bar, and uh, I thought it was a bit dead to be honest. The, this exposure, so it was Alpha Bar ranting in the studio. Um, what? What? No, 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 darling. Um, at the, AR wants the box. Why though? Now I'll take him on, I will, coming in here clout chasing. And that 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 guy's is why obviously hasn't got a woman. Do you know what I mean? Um uh, anyway, well yeah, I will get him told, like, don't be coming for me and my weight when you know you ain't exactly, you know, God's gift to women, are you? Do you know what I mean? Um uh, Yeah. Bun bun that guy is just a massive clout chaser. Massive. He is, a, is an embarrassment. Right, guys, where are we going next? Like, I don't claim to be, like, a supermodel. Do you know what I mean? Um, thank you, everybody. I don't claim to be a supermodel. I don't claim to be skinny. I'm just me, you know? And when you come on and you're shaming somebody for the weight, it's absolutely disgusting. Uh, thank you, everybody. And, and now look what you've just done, AR. You know, people are showing me love. So that backfired on you, didn't it? Mm. And I'm sure he's got a daughter, hasn't he? Imagine someone spoke about it to your daughter like that. You need to start setting examples, mate. Uh, yes. He is an absolute massive clout chaser. Uh, someone just said I'm stunning. Do you know what? Thank you, everybody. Like I say, I don't come on here and claim to be the most beautiful person in the world. You know? Uh, yes, I'm overweight. But I don't care. It doesn't bother me. Do you know what I mean? Big up the curvaceous women. <laughs> right, what was the saying, guys, before that idiot joined the box, clout chasing? Where was I? I can't remember what was I showing, guys. Yeah, guys, don't worry about it. Thank you, Emma. Oh, yeah, the, the alpha. Thank you, Emma, darling. The alpha bar exposure. So how many people tuned into the exposure of alpha bar? Because I know it was at half nine Saturday night. Uh, oh, big up, Danny. And I nearly stayed in because of it. Do you know what I mean? But I'm glad that I never stayed in now and I, I, I caught up on it. It was disappointing, weren't it? I thought there'd be a lot more. Than what there was, it was just like she was having a tantrum in the studio. Uh, yeah, nothing really happened, did it? 
Yeah. I'm not even playing that. Can't be bothered. So, Dave Duran's versus Big Cal. How many people tuned in to watch Dave Duran's fight? We're just going to show a little bit of that now, guys, and then I'm going to talk about it. Big, big breath from Dave Duran's as he goes. Round one. Big Cal's ready. Go ahead, Dave. Hey, let bombs go, Dave. Hey. Duran just unloading straight yeah. away. Clever move there, though. Big Cal's just ties his man up. He's done a few of that at the weather spoons. He's definitely done a few of these scraps before. So go again. Look at him. And Duran's trying to come forward, but... Ref, move, ref, move! Pouring away that jab, catching it, leaning back. Again, trying to lead with the jab there, Duran's, but Cal's just gently pivoting, catching. Just waiting, just keeping that backhand ready. Pouring away with a jab and Duran's just moving around trying to get his attacks off. But they're using his size there, Cal's just leaning back on the road, pivoting, hands up, catching it on the gloves. And Duran's just trying to attack. Duran. Both men just waiting, poised for an attack. Nice straight jab down from Cal's. Jab to the big deep breath from Dave Duran's as he goes. Do you know what, guys? I thought that... Uh, Dave did okay, you know, considering he never trained, uh, he was vaping 20 minutes before we went on stage, you know, he, he never trained for this, do you know what I mean, I think he did amazing, oh, thank you Delulu, darling, De <laughs> thank you very much for the fountain, I think he did amazing, um, I, I do think he went in too hard and he used all his energy, first round, did he have a McDonald's? This is what I'm saying, you know, it was all in good sport. And that cow is a machine, it's massive, you know, because Dave's like six foot summer. Thank you, Kaz. I, I think he did brilliant. He never got knocked out or anything, do you know what I mean? I just think, I love you too, thank you. I just think he went in too, too fast and, you know, wore himself out. But I think he did amazing. Yes, it was the best fight I've seen for a while. Mm. I've seen Lips's fight. Lips is so cute. Uh, Dave's five foot seven. He isn't. Dave's six foot something, isn't he? I mean, I'm not much of a sports spectator. I'm just saying what I've seen. Dave's not six foot. He is six foot, isn't he? Thank you, Wendy. Yeah, I knew he was over six foot. Dave, he is. Dave's saying he is on. Yeah, I think Dave did well. Well done, Dave. So the next... Uh, Big Cal's ready. The next... Uh, I'm going to shut... I'm shutting this door, Simon, because there's a lot going on back here. And it's putting me off. That AR's got me in a really bad mood now, guys. I'm trying not to pay attention to it because... Um, you know, because it's giving him what he wants, but it's, it's really, like, put me in a bad mood now. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, because I know that, I know why he's done it, because it'll make FYP, and everyone will be like, huh, you know what I mean? It's really, really pissed me off. I hope someone sees him and slaps him up. Don't worry about AR, man. Can you hear me? But <laughs> well, AR, if you want the clout, I'm going to give you the clout. You know you've got a lot of haters on this app, and so have I. If my opponent pulls out on December the 14th, I would challenge you to a boxing match of three rounds at the York Hall in London. I will give everybody what they want and destroy you, you bitch. Leave Miss Red alone. And I have guys. There you go, AR. Don't even try it with me because Dave Duran's all of you. And if that does happen, I'll be there too. Yes. And wait until you see my sign then. Mm -hmm. There you go. Dave ain't having it. Thank you, everybody, for the love. Just annoyed me a little bit, that's all. Um, right, so... DG, thank you, Danny boy. D <laughs> DG and Birdman makeup. Yes. Apologies. Yeah. 
Now, nah, fair play, guys. Birdman did apologise, and we know that Birdman can be stub Birdman can be stubborn, but I, I think you know he did the right thing with DJ. Thank you, Connor. Okay. Well, we'll let you off this time. Let's just make sure nothing happens because I'll be calling you out, mate, after the fight if it happens. <laughs> Make sure you win then, innit? You'd have, you'd have to win to call me out then, innit? Imagine, <laughs> you, can't, you can't lose and then be like, boy, bird, man. Huh? Nah, I'm winning. I'm winning, I'm going in there, mate. I'm going in there. Yes, I'm gonna win. Yes, I'm gonna win. Now, I am not coming out of that ring a loser. I'm coming out of that ring a winner. Come on. Well, you know what, bro? Now we've made up. I'll be rooting for you to be winning, bro. I'm gonna be in. I'll be. I'm gonna be in. I'll be. Uh, we're taking it, chat. We're taking it. The, the attitude's changed now, and the closer it gets to the fight, the faster he's gonna learn. Alfie's going down. Guys, is DG having a fight with somebody? Yeah. Because I've just been watching the comments. Is DJ having a boxing match? Because I know Moylan and Sobriety Jack have called each other out to, <laughs> to to get in the ring with each other. And I've got to be honest, my money's on uh, Milan. Sorry, Milan. My money's on Milan there. He has. He's fighting Alfie. Who's Alfie? Do I know Alfie? December. Yeah, he's training for December. Right, okay. Who's Alfie, guys? It doesn't matter. My live's getting reported, guys. If I go off, I'll get my account back anyway because I'm not doing anything. So uh, let people carry on reporting. Thank you, TJ. Uh, I know, me, Lynn and Joe, that's going to be hilarious. I hope that one pulls off. <clears throat> Yeah, so it, like I say, if people report my live and I go off, I'll just get my account back. TikTok always give it me back because they don't see, you know, they see that I'm not doing anything. So carry on reporting and hating. Uh, hates me because you ain't me. Yes. Right, where are we going next, guys? Ah. Oh. Also, try to join. I just want to big up everybody that uh, joined the uh, charity night. Um, but what's that little boy's name? El Ali, I can't pronounce it. Sabdi told me El Alias, El Elise. Elias, Elias, is it Elias, Elias? Is, is it Elias, guys? Elias, Elias, that's it, Elias. Yes, 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 Elias, that's it. Um, so on no face, uh, no no face, no cases live. They did a, uh, a you know a GoFundMe thing for this gorgeous little guy. I think he's for Elias, uh, and it was to take him to Paris. Uh, yeah, I've never heard of that name before. You know, I've never. I thought it was Ellis, but Zab told me Elias. Do you know what I mean? So. But you know what I'm like with my names, guys. And I just want to say well done to everybody that. Uh, joined the live, no face, no case. We had uh, the real official, um, Torian, Roadman, Hustle, uh, Panda. There were so many people in there that contributed and you know really helped out to make a difference. Uh, at some point, I think his mum's going to come on and and speak to us. I have spoke to her. Uh, just to get his story out there and awareness and, and things like that. So, yeah, big up everybody, you know. Uh, I couldn't make it Saturday, obviously, because I've made previous plans. Do you know what I mean? But I do want to share his story on here and bring more awareness to it. I did see Hustle's eyebrows, and that's what I'm going to show. So, big up everybody that joins uh, No Face, No Case. Uh, 
live and participated. The wolf donated, was it £2,000? The wolf donated towards it because I think the target was 25 and they're well over, I think the 26k now. But the more, you know, even if it goes over, it's amazing. Do you know what I mean? The more help that they can get. Um, yeah, I'm going to show that video. An exclusive club. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for the love. Do you know what? In for a penny, in for a pound. Well, that's what I make, thought, bro. Make sure you donate into Elias's course, yeah? Oh, my God. Link's in my, the link is in my... He looks like that guy. Remember the crystal maze? Is it Brian? He looks like him, doesn't he? Uh, Legend. My tree. Oh, Russell's got, Russell's got them dark eyebrows yeah. like me. Yeah. They're yeah. full going to be able to tell, bro. <laughs> 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 Yo, oh, it's Richard O'Brien. Let me fast forward it to the hustle bit. People screen record quick, man. Don't worry. Yeah, I know what I'm hoping, man. I'm praying. Go on, hustle. Go on, hustle. It's done. It's over. His eyes are stinging, isn't it? Ah, big up hustle, man. Nah, right now. Yeah, big up us, man. Big up the wolf as well for the donation again. <laughs> and big up Netflix yeah. because we've made the target, guys. 100. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, my God. Let me show you Russell's eyebrows. The cha he, he channeled. Yeah, you can. No face, no case. Well, one of the mods put no face in the box. So Russell channeled is in a misread with these oh. eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my legend. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to jump up and say, like, I really rate Hustle, and I, I won't let anyone speak a bad word on that guy from now on because of, he didn't want to do that, yeah? And then he went off the app and had a word with himself and said to himself, listen, I've, I've lived a good life. Do you know what I mean? Well, I can go without eyebrows for a fucking month if, this, if it's going to help this little kid. And then he come back and done it, and I rate that. Yeah, and then obviously you drawn a mum with the sharpie, didn't I? That was quality as well. <laughs> but has anyone seen him since? No, I haven't. <laughs> but no, you've got to respect Hustle, Roadman and uh, the real official because all three of them took their eyebrows off. Yeah, like from what I've seen on the FYP, it was a brilliant night. It was, uh, it was quality, it was a good night. Smashed yeah. the target as well. It was, I think the target was 25 and we raised just under 27. Yeah, see, it was an amazing night and uh, like so many communities coming together as well, you know, platforms and everything. How many How many people turned up? How many people did you have there? I think in the room there was about eight or 900 people at some point, but we have to remember that obviously there was events going on and this was a last minute thing. So <laughs> like we know the boxing was on and other people were doing their thing, so we didn't expect everyone, but fair play to everyone. You had people like Birdman. Birdman stepped up and passed through, even though me and him weren't really speaking at the time, he still passed through and come in, which I rate. Do you know what I mean? You've got to give him that. Um, yeah, there was a, there was quite a few people. Millie Hart come through. Um, yeah, there was there was quite a few people. But if people did want to donate, there is still a GoFundMe up to help. Um, I don't know if you explained the story behind it. Uh, well, I, his mum was going to come on. No oh, fight. Nice. I've asked, yeah, I've asked if she'd like to come on to, you know, speak, his, you know, talk about what's happened and yeah, bring to the story. But if you want to, you know, if you want to talk about it, you're more than welcome. Well, I'll just give a quick rundown. So, what it was, um, Elias was a healthy young four-year-old boy. Um, he had a fall and bumped his head. Uh, obviously, he went to hospital. They said he had concussion. From there... I don't know what happened. I think he went home, but he kept deteriorating. They took him back to the hospital and requested an MRI scan. Yeah. Uh, when they done that, they found an inoperable brain tumour. And obviously, because it's inoperable, there, there's nothing they can do, and they just give him give him a time. Do you know what I mean? So the family are just trying to raise money to be able to go out and live life with him and make memory, but also for them to be able to have no cash burdens with bills and that because of 
they, they, they've had to give up work so they can spend what little time they have with little man. Yeah. So, like I said, people look like, well, you know the mum's coming in, but if you can, I'm sure they'll put the donation link up soon and you can all go over there. Yeah. I think one of his, I think one of his wishes is to go to Paris. Is, am I correct? He, they've managed to do that already. They've yeah. managed to get over there already. So they did take money out of the GoFundMe to go and do that. But it's a family of five. So you can imagine that even though 25000 is a lot of money, it isn't a lot when you, you've got a family of five to provide for and, and still be able to get out and do stuff. Do you know what yeah. I mean? So it really ain't a lot of money. So if you can donate, please go over and do so. No face. Where can we find the link to the um, GoFundMe? It's in quite a few people's files, but if you go onto Google and type in Elias's heartbreaking story, GoFundMe, it will come up straight away. Yeah. Okay, wait. But I just want to say a big respect to the wolf because the wolf uh, done a thousand pound first, and he didn't make a big scene of it. He didn't come online telling everyone he had done it. And then when we was doing the live, he passed through again, and he said, "Listen, I'll I'll pay a thousand pound for." Hustle's eyebrow. <laughs> so obviously that's where the eyebrow thing come from with Hustle. And yeah, he was stuck to his word. He'd done that. And also I think he passed, Cho, passed it on to Cho Lee who come through and uh, done a large sum as well. Yeah. Yeah, it was an amazing, it was an amazing night. Like I said, I did see some of it on the FYP and uh, his mum, he's going to come in and speak you about it. We need to do something like this once a month. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like everyone come together and just support a cause for a night. Do you get what I'm saying? Bring it, bring awareness yeah. to it, do what we have to do. See what well, we can do to help people. Yeah, I mean, if you'll have me, uh, I'd like to come in and, you know, do a little bit if that's yeah. all right. Definitely, uh, of course. Yeah, I think it's lovely, you know, when everybody comes together and does things like like this, you know, it's, it's what TikTok should be about. Well, you know? I'll let you get back on the FRP and I'll jump down into your comments and then I'll okay. pop back up later. But listen, big up to Team Elias. And I'll see you all soon. Bye now, face. Bye. Yeah, I could sing, couldn't I, guys? So, I wasn't going to... So, basically, what I'm going to do is everything that I've earned from this live, I am going to send over to the GoFundMe, guys. So, everybody that's gifted today, thank you so much because the gifts have... Um, Obviously, your gifts today are going to go over to, you know, Elias's GoFundMe. So thank you, everybody that's gifted today. Uh, like I say, uh, that will go straight over to the GoFundMe. All right, guys. Uh, so thank you. Big up, everybody. Thank you so much. Uh, but I'd rather, rather than people send any more gifts, you know, if you want to contribute towards the GoFundMe, because the GoFundMe gets all the money then done it, then that's what we'll do. Yes, we'll do a little bit of summer. We will. I could maybe do a, a few songs or something like that. Do you know what I mean? I can be useful somewhere. Yes, and Tam's offering some readings. Oh, thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Um, yes, it's from it's from uh, Team Red. Absolutely. 11-11, make a wish, guys. Thank you for helping my grandson. Oh, no problem, darling. No problem. So I think the GoFundMe was pinned. It is in the comments. Uh, sometimes uh, TikTok hides these. I don't know why they hide them. Uh, let's just show that. Right, it's not letting me pin it, mods. No problem, Catherine. No problem. Um, yeah, so guys, should we open the boxes? Let's open the boxes. It's also in Catherine's bio as well. So if you could pin it, that'd be amazing. Um, guys, we're going to open the boxes. Uh, jump in the box. Uh, we've got 20 minutes guys i'm sorry about the the you know the rushing around today um I, see, my eyebrows i can't do it darling because my eyebrows don't grow as it is hi miss red hi darling i've just um in the well i've just put the um go fund me in the comments thank you you're welcome Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I'm just going to keep you um, Good morning. I'm going to be very quick for a change. Um, I hope you're all well. No, I am, literally. I'm just about to jump in the shower. Dave Durant, he's actually going to not do the boxing. He's going to do Strictly Come Dancing. He's actually um, going to start training next week, so people are getting a bit confused. He's not doing boxing, he's going to be doing Strictly Come Dancing, um, and I think he'll be fantastic doing the cha-cha. 
And so, can you hear me or am I talking to myself? No, we can hear you, darling. Secondly, um, with Annette, um, I'm a softie and it was sad to see her like that, but a little bit earlier she was all different and fine. I'm just going to say that she's actually, she's moving, it's not a secret. So that's stressful in itself. And she was going to take some time off when she was moving because to move, to unpack and to, to get settled. So obviously her stress levels up, but honestly, I think it was all to the camera. I, I think this was all to the camera because if she was being trolled so, so badly, she's under stress. Um, she should have just gone on to sub only or turn the chats off for a little while. Um, I don't think we needed the big, she, she's done this before when she left her discord, literally she said just goodbye and I was worried with the way she said it so I was trying to get in touch with John or to, can then somebody check on her. So I think she needs to move, let her settle and I'm sure she will come back in a much better space. Um, yeah, darling, I don't think uh, John is the best person to be contacting to get in touch with him. No, because... this, is, this is when, it, no, not now, this is when they were together, no. And Miss Red, I love you so much, but you keep calling me Luna. Sorry, Lena. It's because the comments are saying Luna. Sorry, Lena, darling. You know what I'm like. I know. I love it. I love it. Can I just say something else? My name's, yeah. not, La my name's not Lena anyway. Oh. <laughs> oh. Lana. Not. Lana. 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 Sorry, it's because there's no R in it. Do you know something? You can call me whatever you want, but I just wanted to come up and just clear the things about Dave Duran. That Annette will be fine, she'll have her move, she will settle down, she'll be in a happier place and I'm sure she'll come back on. And if she's listening, Annette, just turn the comments off, honestly, or go sub only just for that little while, and feel, especially while you're in that space. But I'm going to jump in the shower and I think I, I don't think you want me to put my camera on for that. Anyway, have a lovely time with UB40. Thank you, Lana. That, they were all oh, well done. They're waiting for you. And also, I heard you might be singing with them tonight. Will you just get Simon to um, record it? I'd love to see you. Love to see you. Anyway, bye, everybody. And oh, sorry, man. I know I drive everybody mad with my voice. <laughs> Not for Lana, <laughs> darling. Oh, Lana, can you hear me? Yes. We thought you were all the people who you before. Bonjour. We thought you were all the people who you eh? Oh, their, um, their manager got in touch with me. They said that um, they were message you, but they thought you were busy curling your hair. So I think it's maybe about 45 minutes into the concert, they're going to call you up. Oh, yes, I'll be straight there. Right. Rattle for drain pipe, love. Thank you, Lana, darling. All right, bye, darling. Have a lovely time, and everybody else, have a lovely, lovely day. You too. Bye, love. I'm Miss Red. Can I jump on really quick? So, thank you, Miss Red. Can I? Can, sorry, guys. Can I just speak to Kieran? Hi, Kieran. Guys, I've got no more time for boxes. I'm so sorry. Hello. Hi, darling. Oh, I've been dying to talk to you for day. Well, now you can talk to me, darling. I'm here, but you want to grow your account? Why? Can I just tell you about it for a minute? Yeah, you tell us about it, darling. I'm just gonna put you on. Uh, I'm just gonna put you on big if I can. Oh my god! <laughs> Go on then, tell us, Kieran, what you got to right. do, darling. Right. What I do is I do Kieran fat the other day. I do a fat the other day every day of the week, Monday to Friday. I do an interesting fact, whether it be with the world. The planet or movies and TV. So what I do is I do one video a day talking about interesting subjects that I find on the internet. Yes. Let me tell you something. This man never fails us. When are you doing these lives, Kieran? Well, I'm. I'm not. I've decided I don't want to go live because it is a lot. Of Hello? Can you hear me, darling? Yes. So you don't want to go live? No, it's a lot of hassle, in it? 
You need to get mud. You need to get people. Okay, darling. Well, guys, can everybody just hear in a follow, please, and support him in whatever he decides to do on TikTok? Yes, we'll have all the followers for you, Kira. I know, though. I wanted to talk about that tarot reading. Uh, what's your opinion on that, darling? I think that's a load of rubbish, to be fair. <laughs> I think it's a load of mumbo jumbo, like people speaking to the dead. You can't beat to the dead. The dead are dead. Right, okay, so you think it's a load of rubbish? Yes. Oh, well, there you go, guys. Kieran, I... don't hold back. Oh, and I love, I love Dave. I love Dave. Big up to Dave. Dave Durant. Yeah, and big up to my Angel and Pooh. Okay, thank you, darling. Guys, make sure you grab here and And please. thank you, Miss Red, for making me up. Oh, it's I appreciate okay, it. It's okay. Thank you for coming. Thank you, love. Keep up. And don't let people bring you down because you're a lovely person. Ah, oh, right back at you, Kitty Brad. How do I leave? <laughs> it doesn't know how to that at all. No, guys, Kieran's lovely. He's a lovely, lovely guy. And he does say it as he, you know, as he sees it. Hi, um, Yorkshire girl. Ah, yeah, I've just quickly jumped on, to be fair, after hearing about that little boy. Yeah. Um, to be, it's close to home. I've mentioned in another live. My daughter last October, when she was 13, diagnosed she had a brain tumour as well. Oh, I'm so um, sorry for that. But I just think we're in a bit of a fortunate position because touch wood, her chemotherapy seems to be working. Yeah. Um, um, we're trying to. We've got. I've got another account on. It's um. It's called Yorkshire Mum Sarah. It's me, me, and our journey, and we're trying to get enough followers on there to go live so we can start earning money for. There's a, a small charity called Pact, and it do, it it it's things you don't know about until you go these through these kind of things but yeah. um, they help support parents with breakfasts they've got a house that you can stop in which we've had to do when she's spent a long time in hospital with being poorly with the chemo um they get gifts and where we've got um we've got an amazon account trying to raise money for a toys for ward we've raised over 200 pounds so far which i might not seem a lot but to us it is for yeah. packed themselves and then eventually we want to raise some money for young lives which their support workers helping me and my daughter out loads. But also, um, we want to get enough followers so we can go on this live together, me and my daughter, so we can raise money for this little boy now. We just want to help everybody because even though she's in the same position as him, she's not, we've got, well, hopefully we've got an end in sight. And unfortunately that little boy seems not to have. Her brain tumor is on the stem of her brain, so it can't be operated. So we're just keeping our fingers crossed that chemotherapy keeps working. Um, at minute she's had to change chemotherapy because it's made her deaf in one ear and um, her kidney's starting to fail so she's gone on to a new chemotherapy which requires every single week she has to go into chemotherapy she's not been to school in over a year but I just think these are small sacrifices that you have to make yeah. so she does have a future and just hearing about that little boy is it's heart wrenching to know that he's only four I mean we've I've, we've come across a lot of parents in the ward one of our close friends um which is her friend, she's had to have a hysterectomy at the age of 14. Um, yeah. And then my my one of my close friends who I've met on the ward too, chemotherapy ward in Sheffield Children's, can I just say Sheffield, Sheffield Children's, is an amazing hospital. The doctors, the nurses, everybody there are fantastic. Um, her little boy has gone through leukaemia twice and he rang the bell last week. Oh. So just want to give hope to the parents out there that, we can help each other in this situation and all you have to do is just be positive and whatever money I'm getting now, um, this account I can't draw money out on. I don't know why, it's just for some reason, which is why I set up a new account. It's in this bio on this account. Um, I'm going to transfer all this onto like, I'm going to give all this money back to your life so you can, so it'll go towards him. Yeah. So thank you for gifting me, but it will all go back to, for that little boy because we, We've been fortunate enough to, I'm not rich, we haven't got enough money and we are trying to save up so she can have a wig at the minute because her hair's fallen out again for the fourth time due to the chemo treatment. But we're doing it for us, so we, whatever gifts we get, we give to other people who need it more. 
Oh. Um, and I, I just want to say thank you for everything you do for the people, Miss Red. I've been on your live a few times, and I just love how you say it as it is, and you just don't give a damn. And don't let anybody. I'm a big, I'm a big body girl too. So we'll just we'll we'll bring it for our big body girls. <laughs> oh, thank you, Yorkshire girl. I'm, I'm going to send you a message. Uh, if I don't message you today, sorry, I'll send you a message. If I don't reply back, um, once you've messaged me back, uh, don't think that I'm ignoring it. Just that I won't have any phone signal, but I am going to give you a message. And yeah, it's yes, okay. What we can do to get some money raised so we can maybe contribute towards the week or summer. If that's oh, over. thank you. I really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. Thank you. Lovely. Yeah, so I'll send you a message, darling. Just let me screenshot you some, you know, it just reminds me because once I'm off, that's it, you know, without my head. But thank you, darling. Thank, thank you, you so much. And thank you for coming on and sharing your story. Oh, no, I just wanted to just say that that little boy, he's got everybody in his thoughts and. I mean, we see this we see this a lot more than anybody else does because obviously we're, we're on the chemo ward every week, but it don't make it less heartbreaking when you hear a new story. It's, it's, it's not nice. Yeah. So, thank you, Yorkshire girl. Thank you, everybody, for the gifts. And I'll see you later. Well, I'll continue watching you as I always do. I've Miss Red. Oh, thank you, Yorkshire girl, darling. No problem. Bye, bye everybody. Bye. Bye. Oh, what a lovely lady. Hi Tracy. Good morning you beautiful lady and you are a beautiful lady inside and out. Thank you. Right, Thanks. two things. One, Dave Durand we're all the same size in bed, so it doesn't matter how tall you are. <laughs> no. And the next one is AR. Oh, it's a shame for him. It really is. It's a shame he's such a nasty person. Um, but AR, if you want to come and confront me, I'm a bigger lady, I'm bigger than Miss Red. You can, you can come and find me anywhere, and I'll I'll talk to you. Tell him, try and say. Yeah. Who, who does he think he is? No. Well, that's, that's what I want to know. Come on in and say that to you. I mean, he's not body beautiful, is he? No, this is what I was thinking. I mean, who does he think he is? Who he's does ugly. he think he is? Try and say. Tell him about himself. I mean, he's fat. He's not body beautiful. Do you know what? I don't know. He ain't no supermodel, is he? Himself? No. And he's not good looking. Yeah. Uh, far from it. So, AR, if you want to come and have a talk with me, you're more than welcome, son. Um, you little boy. Yes, but I am. Trying to upset Miss Red on a Monday morning. And he's upset you as well, Tracy. Yeah, he has because he's gone for the, you know, he's saying that. You're a fat woman and you're not. That is body shaming, that is. That is really bad. And they're going about the racist word and homophobic and things like that. What about body shaming? Yes, body shaming's just as bad, do you know what I mean? And just because I, that can hurt a person. I mean, to be fair, it don't really... Well, it may have affected me, do you know what yeah. I mean? Yes, I'm affected now. I am. Anybody else, it could have affected them. But you're a stronger lady, so it was a. But him saying that to somebody else could cause them to sh. Oh. And that's not fair. It's not nice. It's not nice. Thank you, Tracy, no. for coming in and sticking well, up for me, darling. I am, you ugly man, ugly little man. Come and confront me, please. Come and have a talk with me. Yeah. Thank and you. And see who's the bigger person. So, Miss Red, have a beautiful day. You're a beautiful lady. God bless you and look after yourself. Thanks, Tracy. Right back at you, darling. Tracy come in and chose violence. Don't even try it with, with, with me on a Monday. Do you know what I mean? Um, I'm really sorry for those that got added to the box. So I'm literally running out the door, guys. Uh, I'm literally running out the door. I'm going to turn my phone off and run out the door. Uh, but honestly, thank you everybody that joined today. We were, Tracy, uh, Tracy's gangster around these ways, isn't it, Trace? Um, yeah, thank you everybody that's gifted today as well. The gifts will be sent over to Eloise's GoFundMe. So big up everybody for sending the gifts in today. Yes, because you contributed, whether it was a rose, you know, and whatever else you sent, you've contributed towards the GoFundMe. So thank you, Team Red. Thank you very much. Right, guys, I'm going to get going because I'm on the way to Bricklington to go and watch the UB40 Ali Gamble one. And I will be live to show you what's going on.
hopefully we're not in the car park this time because the last one that we went to i was in the car park basically right at the back of the concert do you know what i mean i would have had better seats probably in the car park um but big up to my lens um why isn't it coming on the live's glitching now uh oh Linz, MVP Linz, Jackie Darling, and well, MVP you too, Jackie, Danny, Joey Tiki, Sarah, Lexi, Pauline, Jackie, Scrumptious, Tam, Jojo, TikTok Drama, Only Crizzle, Abby, Hope, Kirsty Godfrey, Chloe Alfie, Donna King and Forney. Guys, I'm going to get going. Thank you so much. We made it to popular number. What did we make it today? Popular number. Popular number four. Well, I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. Thank you, everybody, for joining today. And I'm sorry I've got a rush. Mwah. Bon AR, guys. Thank you, Kirsty. Guys, can we bon AR in the comments, please? Because it's just ruined my day. Yes, AR's ruined my day. Justice for us curvy girls and curvy mans. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. Mwah. <laughs> Bye, everybody. The Observer, providing you with the latest TikTok drama from across the UK.